Japan experiences approximately 1,500 earthquakes each year, leading the government to spend billions of dollars on recovery efforts. The most recent one occurred on 1st January 2024, with a magnitude of 7.6 on Noto Peninsula of Ishikawa Prefecture, killing at least one person, destroying buildings, knocking out power to tens of thousands of homes and prompting residents in some coastal areas to flee to higher ground due to the potential danger of tsunami. So can the walls built along its coast save the country from current threat of tsunami? In 2011, an earthquake with a magnitude of 9.1 hit Japan, which resulted in a devastating tsunami causing numerous casualties and widespread damage to infrastructure. The question arises, why does Japan frequently face natural disasters? Let's find out. In the last 1,300 years, Japan has faced the impact of 143 tsunamis, leading to a total of 130,874 casualties. The most dangerous tsunami occurred in 1941, with waves reaching an astounding 90 meters in height. Over the past 23 years, Japan has encountered five tsunamis, with the 2011 one being the most devastating, causing significant damage. On March 11, 2011, an earthquake with a magnitude of 9.1 struck 72 kilometers east of the Oshika Peninsula, lasting for a whole six minutes. This event marked the fourth strongest earthquake in the world and the most powerful in Japan's history. The giant tsunami waves reached a staggering 55 meters above the sea, resulted from this seismic activity. Racing at a speed of 700 kilometers per hour, the tsunami surged into Sendai City, causing widespread destruction within 10 kilometers along the coast. A significant challenge with tsunamis is their unpredictability, even with modern technology unable to predict them accurately. Residents in Sendai received an alert only eight minutes before the tsunami hit, providing very little time to escape the impending disaster. Tragically, the tsunami left 228,000 people homeless and took the lives of 15,000 individuals. As Sendai City resembled an apocalyptic scene, another disaster unfolded. The tsunami caused a power outage at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, leading to the detonation of three nuclear reactors due to overheating. The overall cost of this devastating tsunami reached a staggering $235 billion for Japan. Now, you might be wondering why Japan frequently faces natural disasters. The primary reason behind this challenge lies in Japan's geographical location. The highlighted area you're seeing on your screens is known as the Ring of Fire. This zone is responsible for 90% of the world's volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Within this ring, 75% of the world's active volcanoes are found, and unfortunately, Japan is situated along the western edge of the Ring of Fire. Adding to the predicament, about 70% of Japan's land is covered with mountains. The remaining 30%, which is flat, is mostly located in coastal areas. This geographical makeup increases the risk of facing tsunamis and typhoons regularly, making it a constant concern for the country. While relocating entire cities to the mountains isn't a feasible option, Japan is actively working on innovative ways to protect its coastal areas from natural disasters. In a unique approach to safeguard high-risk regions, Japan has constructed a remarkable 400-kilometer-long and 15-meter-high wall along its eastern coast. These walls have foundations extending 25 meters beneath the ground. These coastal defense walls are ingeniously designed. When a wave strikes the wall, it is redirected back towards the sea, effectively reducing its force. This redirected wave then encounters the second layer, where it experiences further diminishment of its pressure. These walls, however, aren't the sole defense mechanism for coastal areas. Japan has also implemented breakwaters along its shores. In the event of a natural disaster, these breakwaters work to initially reduce the force of incoming waves, complementing the protective role of the 15-meter high walls. Japan has categorized tsunamis into two levels. Level 1 tsunamis, occurring every 50 to 60 years with wave heights reaching up to 15 meters. 
The sea walls are specifically designed to address level 1 tsunamis. However, level 2 tsunamis occurring once in a thousand years pose a greater challenge. To enhance protection, Japan plans to plant a thick layer of trees behind these walls. These trees will serve as a third barrier to reduce the pressure of level 2 tsunami waves. Additionally, as the water flows back to the sea, it often carries a significant amount of debris. The trees will act as natural filters, stopping large objects from entering the sea. The sea walls in Japan represent a remarkable engineering innovation. While they may not entirely stop a level 2 tsunami on their own, the combination of sea walls and strategically planted trees demonstrates a comprehensive approach to enhance coastal defense and mitigate the impact of these rare but severe natural events. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that these measures are not a permanent solution. The escalating impacts of global warming, the swift rise in sea levels and the increasing intensity of natural disasters, including more frequent earthquakes, demand a proactive and sustainable strategy. Japan is actively engaged in the pursuit of a permanent solution. Recognizing that the giant walls provide a temporary measure, buying valuable time for people to move to safer locations in the event of a level 2 disaster. What's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments sections. Thanks for watching.